to do when you're out here alone But listen to the radio till daylight breaks Hoping they play something that'll keep you awake The whole night trucker station came to an end But behold a new savior stepped right in Thank God for the satellite and radio For good trucking music there's a place to go Bill Mack and Cindy and Dave Nemo Thank God for Good morning, good morning guys We are going to go over to the Flying J I'm gonna go take us a shower yeah. All right. Looks like it's an absolutely gorgeous day up here today. Nice and sunny. Looks like almost no wind. Flying J is just literally right around the corner up here, like where you see that Flying J truck up there. That's where the flying jay is, just down the corner. Yeah, so we're gonna go in and have a shower. That's right, that's the plan anyways. At least that way I have a shower and then I go over and uh, pick up my trailer and uh, get my paperwork all lined up. And then I'll come back here to the flying gym and fuel her up. And then I'll be out of here. I figured this way if I go take a shower first, I don't need to park here later on, you know, I just come here, fuel her up and uh, that way I'm good to go, you know. Cause it's kind of tight to cry, try and uh, park in here in this flying J up here, you know. We're just going to try and Bob Taylor in here. Yeah, so I guess we'll cut the camera for now. And we'll see you guys later on. Alrighty guys, we are here in uh, Mississauga, Ontario. We got our paperwork. We are ready hooked up to our trailer. And uh, I want to show you something. Have you ever seen what it looks like when a truck has burnt? down let me show you here it is that's what it looks like yeah that's what it looks like when a truck burns to the ground yeah take a look at that I mean that looks terrible look at all of these wires up here everything is melted look at that wow now that looks like a disaster, doesn't it? Oh yeah, look at these tires. I'm surprised these tires didn't explode. That surprises me. But it's pretty much burned. Yeah. I'm surprised there's still air in there. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Uh, even this mirror, look at this mirror. It's even melted. Wow. Now that's amazing, man. Jeez, all these tanks must... Wow, that ta fuel tank is not even burned. I'm surprised, man. Wow. And uh, what I heard, the reason why it happened was... Uh, uh, when he plugged in the truck to keep, it, keep the engine warm, right? Well, look at that. That fuel tank is not even exploded. I'm surprised at that. Wow, now that is amazing. But the cab is pretty much gone. Nothing left of the cab. Anyways, what I was gonna say, the reason why this happened was apparently uh, he plugged it in to uh, keep the motor warm, right, from winter, because it's fairly cold up here in uh, Ontario already. And apparently it uh, had a, a wire problem somewhere and it caught everything on fire at least that's what they're saying right now that's what happened now look at this side of the motor i mean everything is gone everything and anything that was plastic is pretty much gone <laughs> look at the alternator it's even melted that uh, propeller right there oh, 
the, look at the fan, eh? <laughs> that must have gotten super hot in here. Look at this camper that was parked right beside it. Look at all the paint peeled and yeah, everything is gone. Wow. Now that is some damage, isn't it? And that it really is. Anyways, we gotta get out of here. Yeah. So let's get out of here and then we'll see you down the road somewhere. Alrighty guys, we have gotten our cup of coffee and uh, we got our go-go juice from the Flying J up here in Mississauga, Ontario. And now we just put it in gear and we're going to get out of here. Yeah, we got a long ways to go. I was kind of lazy this morning getting up because I knew I didn't have a whole lot of hours, so... Uh, Construction ahead. Figured it wasn't really a need to get up real early and uh, get her going. So I, after I'd done my logbook and all that, I ended up having nine hours left for today. So that's what's Turn free trip and everything. Construction ahead. So, that means, well, I guess it's a pretty good day worth the driving yet, still, but uh, it's not a full day from Canada. We can do 13 hours in Canada, right? That's right. So, now let's see if we can get out of here. I know they have uh, this uh, section over here. Uh, under construction for a little here. while, Take the so entrance to the right on Highway 401 East Toronto, McDonald Cartier Freeway, Highway 401. Are you going to be done there, RJ, pretty soon? I want to continue talking. Come on. I was going to say they got this section under construction here for a while, so I haven't really uh, gone over the 401 and come around. I don't know how exactly they have it, but. I think we need to be in this lane in order to uh, get there. We used to have three lanes and I could just stay in the right lane and then I could make my exit, but it seems like they got it blocked now, so yeah, they got that one lane closed. Oh well, that's all right, we'll get out of here. We have a very light load. Look like only 6,000 pounds in the box. 500 meters. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 401 East, Toronto, McDonald Cartier Freeway, Highway 401 Collectors. You hear that? I mean, it just goes on and on and on and on. And I mean, I don't know how many more names you're going to call it, RJ. <laughs> Pretty soon we'll put you on mute. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well. <laughs> you got to have fun, right? But. Anyways, I think I'm going to take Highway 11 because uh, they've been getting some snow around the lakes there. So, with this light load and me having not the best of tires anymore, I don't know if I want to go that 17. I think I'd much rather take that 40 miles further around and go more on a flat ground. That 17 is very hilly, hilly. Yeah, big mountains up there. So, let's get down to 401. Meters. Take the entrance to the right on Highway 401 East, Toronto, McDonald Cartier Freeway, Highway 401 Collectors. Yeah, we gotta go on that for a little bit, and then uh, we gotta take that 400 north. And then we'll go from there. Alrighty guys, we have made it to Captas Casing. And as you can see, it's dark. But what I wanted to show you is this white stuff up here. I told you guys it's a good possibility that you could see some snow, right? And here we are. There is some ice and snow up here. That is for sure. But there is some parking left in here. and. There's more parking towards the other side, so uh, we are in good shape. That's right. I don't know, it doesn't really look like... Well, I see some stars up there, so... It doesn't really look like it could be... Snowing overnight, but then again, you never know. You never know, that's right. Anyways, I just figured I would close my video out here. 
and uh, hey, we'll probably see you again tomorrow. So be sure to stick around. behind me that day is gonna come